Hi, I'm Doug Collicutt. I'm just a uh, cottager at Star Lake here, and I'm just showing you our start of our cottage development in the road here. And I'm going to take you down the road to show you where Parks thinks is a remote area suitable for cottage based business owners to work. That car that's reflecting in the light there is considered to be a remote area by Parks. Let's go have a look. I'll time how long it takes to get there from walking from the cottages. Okay, so I timed it getting here from the top of the cottage subdivision. Three minutes to walk here to the uh, gate that would be the access point. It used to be the access point to the old landfill and the sand pit mine that we had here too. Other lovely developments in the past. But let's go see what these uh, proposed remote and uh, junky sites look like now. Well, here's a bit of a look down the trail. The car that was back at the entrance gate there was one of my neighbors that brings their little dog here for a walk every day. Really nice place to get off the dirty, dusty gravel road and have a nice walk around on these old abandoned roads. Hopefully they stay abandoned too. Well, about two minutes from the gate, walking up this road, is the uh, the start of the area that Parks considers remote enough to stick some cottage-based business storage sites. Uh, this road going off to the left here is of course the road that was carved through when the commercial logging operation was going on here five or six years ago. Thank goodness they shut that down in the park now that there's no more jack pine to log out there. I think it happens to be a particularly beautiful part of the park. Let's see some more later. Uh, another minute along and here we are at the entrance to the old landfill site. One of the other developments we used to enjoy here at Star Lake. We say we had a landfill, we had a sand extraction pit, we had a logging operation, we got the hydro substation and uh, transmission line. And walking down the road, Oh look, there's a family enjoying a morning walk on our nice little abandoned road. Hope the hell it stays abandoned. I'll have a chat with them in a sec. So here's our uh, remote abandoned site that Parks wants to turn into a storage site for big cottage businesses. And oh, look what's here. Family out for the morning walk. Beautiful like, untouched area we have. I know. Love it. Girls Berry love it. Berry picking. Lots of wildlife. Owls. Wildlife you get to see. Oh, bears, wolves here. Absolutely wonderful for us. So you, so you don't, you don't want to see a commercial light industry site set up no. here. No. Absolutely not. Good answer, Adrian. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks a bunch, guys. Oh, and sure enough, another one of my neighbors out for a morning walk. Morning. What do you think of the proposed development for this site? Well, we're a very small lake. Why would they be using our property, what we consider our property, and using the highway that comes from 301 in towards our main beach, which is a very well used main beach. Our roads get totally torn up. They're just gravel. And it really is a thoughtless use of the property, I think. There's lots of other opportunities to use places in in uh, all the wild areas we have between here and even back to the transfer station. So please do not use Star Lake area. Thank you. Thank you. Great stuff. Okay. We'll go have a look at some more of this uh, terribly remote and horrible looking place that Parks think. Well, another couple of minutes down the trail here at the site of the old sand extraction pit, which is now being a, allowed to go back to the natural vegetation. As a wildlife biologist and plant ecologist, I've really enjoyed watching the natural succession occurring in these formerly disturbed sites and uh, seeing how nature is beginning to reclaim them. Still a few weeds in places, but the natural vegetation is beginning to take over long for its return to the condition it used to be in. I kind of like to think it uh, might stay this way. If 
high again. Well, here's a bit more at the old, what used to be the old landfill site. It's recovering nicely from all the abuse. You can see people are using some of these areas as trails through here and are really enjoying it. Maybe a lot of you are thinking that uh, we're a bunch of whiners at Star Lake and this is a, a NIMBY issue, you know, not in my backyard. Well, damn right it's our backyard and damn right we don't want this kind of stuff going on right in our backyard. And I'd send a message out to other folks in the White Shell too. Watch out where Parks is going to try to stick this project because it sure as heck ain't happening here. Yeah, a little bit more. Just wanted to let people know I uh, don't have the time to start listing all the plant species and wild orchids and other stuff that grows in this uh, horribly disturbed area, they're calling it. And we have a couple of things going on where people can get more information. The uh, Star Lake Facebook page. And we have a website uh, up on uh, naturenorth.com. The address is www.naturenorth.com slash starlake. That's capital S, T-A-R, capital L, A-K-E. We we'll hope everybody will uh, help us out with some support. And uh, like I said before, watch for where Parks is going to try to stick this next. Could be your backyard. Well, just to finish off here, I'm back from my 20 minute walk to the remote part of Star Lake where nobody ever goes apparently. Uh, everybody around here has got this letter by now, I hope. Uh, just highlighted a little bit of it here. Parks commenting about the intent of these commercial light industry and storage sites is to provide light industry and storage opportunity for registered CCBs away from cottage subdivisions, thus reducing conflicts between cottagers and CBB owners. Some of the video showed just how far away from cottages this is. Uh, we're all really ticked about this proposal and we're not going to let it happen. We'd appreciate any uh, support you can uh, help with uh, letters to not only the fellow working for parks planning but to the Minister of Conservation to let them know uh, that we're not happy about this. Thanks, bye.